what we say we want and need is what the church offers, but we don't go back to it. So here's what I mean by that. You, you know, you watch church online, and I don't know about you guys. I enjoyed watching church online in my pajamas and making my own coffee at home. I mm-hmm. did. But when it came time to go back, I was ready. Like I was, re- I needed to be mm-hmm. in the same room with other believers and in community with other people. And so I think we've created this this environment where we make church accessible for a lot of people, and that is good. But at the same time, it is not the full church experience. What you said, you know, we are the body. Imagine lopping off your arm for for one day or for one week or for one year and just living life with one arm. You'd have to make major adjustments. It would be super inconvenient. There would be things that you could not do before that you could do with both arms. Same principle. Like, it, it just kills me because I think we have everybody saying, oh, I want to connect. I want, I need a community. I need, you know, accountability. All these things that we're begging for are things that we find at church and we've abandoned that. Mm -hmm. I think what you're doing right now is very helpful, which is helping to target why we need to go. We need, we, and the Bible says it, that's number one, of course. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking about when do I want to make a change in my life. Maybe I want to start exercise. What the way I do that is by clarifying the rewards of it, because once I understand the benefit of doing it, I'm going to do it more. Mm -hmm. So the benefits of going to church are huge, but everybody has to figure them out on their own. For me, for example, the difference between the worship part of the church service in my basement, watching the TV versus in the sanctuary Mm. with the whole room and everybody else there worshiping was so huge. It's tangible, the Mm. power Mm. that you feel being with other believers all together, worshiping God and God is in the presence. God's in the presence there in the basement as well. But the, the sense of his presence is so powerful. It brings me to tears almost every single Sunday Mm -hmm. and the ability to hear what the pastor is saying is so much better when I'm in the service and I'm not drinking my coffee or having my breakfast or petting the dog or any of those external things, I can focus on what he's saying. And so for me, I really did kind of struggle to go back to the church building. I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Our church, big, you got to park far away, long situation. There's, there, I mean, you're there all day. So I was like, oh, do I really want to go back when I can listen to it in my basement once I went back yeah. and remembered what the experience was like, then I wanted to go back again and again and again. But mm-hmm. I think really hammering in on what is the benefit of it? What does it, what's the difference between going and not going will help people come back. <laughs>